welcome to the Remnant House of Worship. Come on in. Where the wave of worship is manifested every second Tuesday of every month at 3 p.m. Come on in. together again yes. here at the Remnant House of Worship in Oak Hills. Amen. Amen. The house of Reverend Iris Williams. She's opened the door of our house for us to do worship here every month. Amen. And in fact, the Lord asked me to tell you today specifically that the fact that you have opened this house for worship. Yes. The blessing that God put upon Obed Edom will be your portion. Hallelujah. So there will be no lack of any kind. From the time that you welcome God into this house, we we'll worship to take place so you can go to the ends of the earth. There shall not be any lack, no sickness. The presence of the Lord shall consistently be here. Amen. In, Jesus name. In Jesus' name. So we are all welcome to the remnant house of worship here in the city of Oak Hills in the high desert in Southern California. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So if you are watching from any part of the world, just key into the blessing today. God has something great for you. He has something great for you and your family. Hallelujah. Amen. We have some wonderful things to share with you today yes. that God will use to actually launch you into your dreams. Amen. The dreams you have had for many years. You know, God is going to launch you into the fullness and the reality of those dreams today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Well, we're going to ask uh, our mommy, Reverend Iris Williams. She's here. And then I have my wife here, Reverend Onayemi Aruwolo. Amen. Amen. I'm anchoring today as the program director. So, Mama Iris, you want to open up with a word of prayer? Heavenly Father God, we come to you in the name that is above every name. Amen. Yahshua HaMashiach, mm -hmm. Jesus. We thank you for the opportunity to come together in one accord and in unity 
to be able to bring this worship, the wave of worship, to go around the globe and to minister to all of those that are in need. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare Amen. that it is done. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, there's a scripture we're going to go straight to point today. We're going to be doing, uh, God has told us this particular month, that this month of November 2021, we should not ask him for anything, but rather we should do what? Give thanks. We should be giving him thanks yes. just every day. Every day. And since we started doing that on the 1st of November, mm -hmm. we have some fantastic testimonies of things that are taking place in our lives. Yes in our ministry, in our family, and also in our business. So today, uh, we have a prophetic word for you that uh, we had God very distinctly this morning. He said, he has a total package for you. So I'm going to ask the very Mrs. Ol my wife to read that scripture yeah. and the story behind this thing that God is promising to do when you are your family today is a total package. Yes. Yes. Yes, I read from the book of Luke. Luke. Chapter 17 from verse 11 mm -hmm. to 19. Luke chapter 17 from verse 11 to verse 19. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, mm. which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go shew yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. Mm. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So from the scripture that we just read in Luke chapter 17 from verse 11, to 19, we read of the story of these 10 lepers that were, that went to Jesus. And the, the first thing they did as they entered to the, as Jesus entered into the certain village, they met him, mm -hmm. they, they met him there. The Bible says in verse 13, and they lifted up their voice. So they released a sound into the atmosphere. Yes. It was a sound of, <laughs> can you help me? Maybe you are going through a situation right now. Yes. God wants to hear your voice. Yes. He wants to hear your voice. Your voice that releases a sound that is crying out to your maker yes. for a miracle. Amen. So they knew who to speak to. They knew who to release the sound of their need to. Mm -hmm. So they lifted up their voices. And said, Jesus, that is the name that God has given to us. Yes. Above every other name, that at the mention of that name, Hallelujah. all names should bow and all tongues will confess that he is the Lord yes. to the glory of the Father. So they called him Jesus. In other words, they adore that name. They reverence that name. And they called him Master. Yes. So they believe he is the master of every situation and circumstance. Everyone. He is the answer to everything. He is the master of everything. Yes. So it's the master that is able to do anything. I mean, it's the master. Yes. 
When you call somebody a master, it means he's able to handle situations. That's right. He is good at handling situations. Amen. He is, <laughs> he is good. He has mastered everything. And so, yes. you know, so he's a master. Hallelujah. So Jesus is the master Amen. that can help you to take care of you. the things, the problems in your life that he can solve. Then the now said, have mercy on us. Mm. So, they called him by his name. He's the master and he's Jesus. Yes. So who is Jesus to you today? Hallelujah. He's the master that masters every situation and circumstance. Amen. And he can actually put things right. Have mercy on us, they said. Mm. And, when they, and when he saw them, he said unto them, he didn't even say be healed or anything. Because the master. <laughs> Are you with yes, me? Yes. He's the master. So just looking at them, he said unto them. Yes. When he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves to the priest. Mm -hmm. The business is done. Yes. The miracle is done. There's no point shouting and no, no, I'm the master. Mm -hmm. You call me master? Mm -hmm. I'll prove to you I'm the master. Yes. I'm the master that's able to remove leprosy from you yes. just by not even saying anything. Yes. And ask you to go and show yourself to the priest to give you a certificate of release. Yes. That you have been cleansed from leprosy. So I don't know what you're going through right now. The master can send you to the priest. Yes. He can send you to where you manifest the glory of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Not, not, this, not this disease. Not the disgrace, yes. not the failure, not the leprosy, not the stain, Hallelujah. not the sin. Thank you, Jesus. So go show yourself. Yes. And it came to pass as they went that they were cleansed. Hallelujah. Just on the way, they obeyed his instruction. They didn't wait there to say, well, but you see, Master, wow. look at the leprosy. Wow. Why are you sending us to the priest? Do something first. Yes. You know, we cannot go and see the priest except we are cleansed. Mm -hmm. But as they went on their way, as they went, as they obeyed this instruction, because he Jesus. is the master. Hallelujah. As they obeyed him, mm -hmm. they got cleansed on yes. the way. Yes. They didn't behave like Naaman. They didn't behave like Naaman. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, yes. Amen. turned back. Hallelujah. And with a loud voice. Amen. <laughs> I like that. Yes. With a loud voice. A loud voice. Now God is going to do something for you today yes. that will make you release your voice to the highest volume. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. He glorified God and then fell down on his face. Mm. At, at the feet of Jesus, Hallelujah. giving him thanks, mm. and he was a Samaritan. A yes. Samaritan. Mm -hmm. Samaritans were people that were not even in the original plan when Christ came. He was sent to the Jews. Mm -hmm. But this man was able to find his way to receive God's blessing mm -hmm. because he understood the principle yes. of thanksgiving. The Amen. principle. He understood the power of thanksgiving. Yes. He understood that when something is done for you, mm -hmm. no matter how big, yes. no matter how small, that's right. It's your responsibility to turn back yes. and go offer thanks Amen. to that person that's right. that did it for you. Hallelujah. Why others thought it was their right mm -hmm. to be cleansed by Jesus mm -hmm. yes. and never returned back, this Samaritan went back. Yes. To say, thank you, Jesus. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where, but where are the nine? I made up my mind this month. I'm not going to be counted the among the nine people mm -hmm. that didn't return back to say thank you, Lord. No, no. I want to be that Samaritan, Amen. that grateful Samaritan, that stranger mm -hmm. that was not qualified. But then was qualified by the master. Yes. So, somebody said something recently. I was in a meeting and he said, 
I'm not going to allow the problem to the problem that I have to measure who God is for me. But I'm going to allow God to measure my problem. Why? Because when God measures my problem, my, my God is far bigger than the problem I'm having. Yes. So this man saw that Christ deserves all the gratitude. Mm -hmm. And he went back to say thank you. So God has asked us that the whole of this month, he's going to be doing some fantastic things in our lives. Amen. But yes. all he wants us to do yes, is Lord. to offer thanks. Hallelujah. And I asked myself, Jesus. how much does it cost to mm -hmm. offer thanks to God? Yes. What does it cost me to offer thanks to God? Other than to just give him the fruit of my mouth yes. and then to lift up my voice Marcus, and give him thanks. That's why you see here. Yes. The Bible says, and with a loud voice. voice. Hallelujah. <laughs> with a loud voice. Amen. He glorified God. Yes. So, Lord. Amen. So everybody has got some loud voice. Yes. Amen. I shall a testimony with Mama today. <laughs> I, since I, I knew her, I just thought she just said, Jen, give too. me a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then she said, give me a second. When she had the testimony, then she produced a loud voice sound in this house. I was like, wow. God will put a, a loud voice, give you a loud sound today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's your turn because God is going to do some fantastic things for you yes, in the name man. of Jesus. So what has, what is lacking in the world today? Yes, Lord. Coronavirus is having more of the loud sound mm. from the mouth of believers at the expense of the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Cancer, diseases, the devil, demons, yes. they seem to be producing loud sound mm -hmm. Which are not the real sound, that the sound of pain, the sound of agony, the sound of defeat, the sound of death, the sound of discouragement, the sound of weakness, the sound of unfaithfulness, the sound that brings of depression, as engulfed the entire world. When coronavirus came last year. Everywhere was quiet. A coronavirus sound can be heard all over the world. Yeah. But I can prophesy to us today that the sound that we are going to be producing from now, it will drown all the negative sounds in the atmosphere. Amen. Somebody pray! is beginning from you and I. Amen. Yes. We shall begin to yes. release a loud Hallelujah. sound with our voices yes. to glorify God. Yes. Thank you. And when this occurred, Jesus. Then that was not found. Jesus said that was not found that returned to give glory to God, save this stranger. Mm -hmm. Be the one that will return to Jesus today yes, be the one. and give him thanks Jesus. with a loud voice for the thing he has done. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith Hallelujah. has have made thee whole. Hallelujah. The faith has made thee whole. Glory. The nine people that came, they only got cleansed of the leprosy. But they miss the entire package yes. that is with Jesus. Yes, Lord. Leprosy is one. Hallelujah. Salvation is one. Yes. Prosperity is one. Hallelujah. Blessings are one. Oh, Divine favor is one. So a lot of things are wrapped up when we begin to give God thanks. Oh, yes. He takes away the leprosy. He brings a lot of things to you. He cleanses you. So, so many things. And this only the person that got the, the yes. whole package hmm. was that Samaritan that brought thanks to God. The whole package. So today, God asked us to tell you. I want to talk a little bit about the whole package. Hallelujah. What's just occurring to me now, I think Mama has a, uh, 
in this place. <laughs> so I'm going to demonstrate something. Not yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She's a teacher. You know, we have uh, teaching tips, instructional material. Okay, instructional like that. Yes. So this is a whole one. Mm -hmm. If I cut this in pieces, I give you part. Yeah, give you part. Mm -hmm. Give some other people. That's not whole. Mm -hmm. But when I give you this, now, yes, that's a whole work. The whole mm -hmm. package. Whole package. So which one will you prefer? Yes, the whole package. And Thanksgiving brings the whole package. package. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving yes. brings the whole package. You Today, God is giving you an opportunity to have the whole, yes. not just a part. Mm. Whole package. Mm -hmm. Will you not rather have the whole package? Yes. As you give thanks to God. Amen. No matter what is happening. Oh my God. Give God thanksgiving. Yes. Hallelujah. No and you will be made whole. Hallelujah. And you will receive wholeness. Amen. And you will have it whole. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Mama, I have something to say. Well, um, I count it all joy. Hallelujah. No matter what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I worship him through it all. Amen. Amen. The worst uh, circumstances tell me that I'm on the right path. Amen. I'm on, in God's will. Amen. Otherwise, the enemy would not be throwing these darts and the attacks would not be coming. That's right. So I give him all the praise, all the honor, all the glory in the middle of whatever I'm going through. Hallelujah. Particularly when it's an attack. And everyone doesn't understand that and they think you peculiar. Well, I am, because I praise him mm -hmm. in the middle of the disaster. Mm -hmm. I don't wait till it's over mm -hmm. and praise my way through Amen. the circumstances. Hallelujah. Now, my testimony, because <clears throat> it's written here in the word of God, what Jesus did and what miracle he performed in the life of these people that resulted in this Samaritan Returning back to offer thanks. Yes. Now, there are some things, if, well, that a particular thing, of course, there are a lot of things, but there was a particular thing I placed my hand on past two years. And I've been asking God to make things work for me. So I've actually expended some a huge amount of money to make this thing happen. But it didn't, wasn't still happening. So, but on that 1st of November, when God gave instruction that we should dedicate the entire month of November to giving him thanks. Yes. And I preached that message in church and did not only stop there, but continued even at home, in the car, everywhere I was going, just offering thanks to God. Thank you. On Monday of last week, I got a phone call from somebody that I never met before, who didn't know me, that I didn't know. I didn't write a letter. I didn't go for seeking anybody. Else. I didn't go to inquiry or contacting or consulting. I was just offering thanks to God, not even about what I needed, but because God says to offer thanks yes. for this month. Yes. So, then I think you have something you need. And we discover that we can help to make it happen. Hallelujah. And I was wondering, how did you get my information? I said, oh, I found you as one of those people in the same class of the people that are doing the same thing you are doing that need help. Mm -hmm. Long story short, I said, okay, call me back tomorrow. She called back the next day, which was Tuesday last week. And then, okay, we said, well, we're going to discuss on where this is. should be true. The package uh, she showed me the package. The whole, the whole package. package. <laughs> now, what I had, I was working on before, was part. was just part of the package. Mm -hmm. Even if I got that, it was not good enough to drive what I wanted to do. Yes. So now, as we began to offer thanks to God, mm -hmm. she took me through a video uh, uh, 
a video presentation, presentation of what they want to offer me yeah. to do what I'm supposed to do. By the time she ran through the whole thing, I could see that this is the entire package. package. This the is the whole, whole package. package. So God Hallelujah. is not going to bless you with part of, of the package when you begin to offer thanks Thank to him. You, Your thanksgiving Thank is going to bring you into receiving the whole package. And that was what happened in the life of the one leper that came back to offer thanks. He got the whole package. So today I want to encourage you to begin to offer thanks to God just as we are. And by the end of November, you shall have numerous reasons to, to be heard. Your voice will be so loud. With the, with, the, with the testimonies of the goodness of the Lord. Yes. So today we release upon you the anointing and the power and the revelation to be able to enter into a lifetime of thanksgiving that is not uh, given to murmuring and complaints and, and excuses and, 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 and criticism, but you're going to start living a life of thanksgiving, offering thanks to God, Finding the purpose of God in every trial you are going through and offering thanks to God because he is the one that can change your story. So today, the Lord is changing your story. So I want you to lift up your voice and let's begin to offer thanks to God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Father, we thank you today Lord, for all that you have done. You we just exalt you, Lord. We thank you for the salvation you've given to us. We thank you for the whole package you made possible in our lives. So we exalt your name. We glorify you, Lord. You are worthy to receive all praise. You are worthy to receive all honor. You are worthy to receive all adoration. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, I want to prophesy to you. Yes. Don't wait. Okay. Go now and show yourself. Amen. Manifest the glory of the Lord mm. in the thing that God has mm. promised to do. Don't wait until you see it happen. The, 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 the lepers, they didn't see themselves cleansed when they were living, when Jesus Christ spoke, but they knew as that they something went. had happened. As so went. as they went, as they went, they saw that they were cleansed. They went. When they got to the priest, they got their certificate because the priest saw that the people are cleansed. The leprosy was gone. So as you obey the instruction of God today, the Lord will do the impossible in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to congratulate you for the miracle that God has made possible wow. for you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give you praise. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thanks to the Lord. Thanks to the Lord. Our thanks to the Lord. We give our thanks to the Lord. Thanks to the Lord. Our thanks to the Lord. We give, we give our thanks to the Lord. Thanks to the Lord. Thanks to the Lord. To the Lord. We give our thanks to the Lord. Thanks to the Lord. Thanks to the Lord. Amen. Can we come your way again next month? This is the Remnant House of Worship. Yeah. Hallelujah.